This is WENY News. Hey everybody, thanks so much for clicking on the webcast. I'm Ross DiMattei. Here's the latest from WENY News and the Star Gazette. A veteran lawmaker from Syracuse has been named deputy majority leader of the New York State Senate after the former number two ranking lawmaker was convicted of lying to the FBI. Republican Senator John DeFrancisco replaces Republican Senator Tom Libis, who automatically lost his seat when he was convicted last week of lying to the feds. 68-year-old DeFrancisco is an attorney and he was first elected in 1992. He leads the powerful Senate Finance Committee. Earlier this year, DeFrancisco lost a bid for Senate Majority Leader to John Flanagan. And one Democrat has already set her sights on taking the Senate seat vacated by Tom Libis. According to WBNG Action News in Binghamton, former Broome County Executive Barbara Fiala officially announced her campaign for New York's 52nd District Senate seat yesterday. The 71-year-old Democrat was the first woman to be elected to a countywide office position as the Broome County Clerk back in 1988. So far, she's the only candidate to announce she's running in the special November election to replace Libis. If she wins the seat, Republicans would lose their majority in the state Senate. Road and bridge construction across the country won't be halted today. That's because the Senate passed a short-term bill Thursday to keep the Highway Trust Fund running for the next three months. It allows states to get federal reimbursements for highway and mass transit projects. The Senate also passed a long-term highway funding bill by a 65-34 to 34 vote. The bill funds federal highways and infrastructure for three years, but that measure could face gridlock in the House where lawmakers are putting together their own bill. And if your medicine cabinet is getting full, today might be the day to clean it out. That's because there's a prescription drug take back event in Corning today. Anyone is welcome to drop off unwanted and unnecessary pills, liquids and needles. The take back event is at the Corning Incorporated C building and Decker building on East Pulteney Street in Corning. It runs from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And now here is meteorologist Craig Flint with your forecast today. Hey, Craig. Hey, Ross, good morning to you. Here's what it looks like. A nice looking finish to the month of July with sunshine, a few clouds by afternoon, summery, a high of 84, 85. Now you'll see this little lightning bolt here and you're saying, well, Craig, what's the deal with that? I think most of the day is dry, but once we get into this evening, like seven, eight, nine o'clock, there's an opportunity for maybe a passing shower or storm. But uh, otherwise, we're good to go today with a little bit of a breeze. And obviously, the big talk was this thing in the sky last night. That was the blue moon, full moon. Second one for the month of July. This uh, picture from Bill in Elmira. Um, really cool shot. The full moon uh, and also the full buck moon, full hay moon, and the full thunder moon. Some of the nicknames for the full moon in July. And, you know... The term blue moon comes because it only it's rare. Every two, three years, you get a full moon twice in one month. Every month has a full moon with a lunar calendar. But when you get one twice in a month, you can say, hey, once in a blue moon. <laughs> Bill, thanks for the shot. Appreciate it, man. Uh, let's see. Uh, do I have the right show loaded? Let me just step out real quick and see uh, what we've got here for you on future track. Yeah, we're good to go. So high pressures in charge uh, of the weather today. That means sunshine clouds. Then we get into this evening and you see something trying to pop up here. Uh, again, maybe a, a shower or thunder shower as we head towards this evening. This particular model says six. Uh, I'd say a little bit later than that, probably seven, eight, nine o'clock. But until then, we're good to go. Now, there's also a front back here, and this is attached to a disturbance that's over uh, southeastern Canada. And that's going to kind of alter our weather pattern here as we head into next week as uh, it turns a little bit more active to start the new month of August. A few showers, storms overnight tonight, and then again Saturday with the daytime heating and the sun kind of bubbling things up in the atmosphere. Not going to rain every hour all day Saturday, but you could see scattered showers and thunderstorms popping up in the afternoon. And I think Sunday's mainly dry. Get into late in the day, though. Another little disturbance is going to round the base of that disturbance over uh, southeast Canada. 
and each time one of those comes through, it's like an impetus. It kind of gets the air up and moving, and I think there will be a few scattered showers and thunder showers coming up late in the day on Sunday. So for today, sunshine with clouds, summery, seasonably so though, a little bit of a breeze, and a high of 84. Here's your seven day forecast, 82, a few storms, especially Saturday afternoon. Late storm on Sunday, otherwise mainly dry, 84. Warmer, a bit more humid on Monday with a high of 85. Our next cold front with showers and storms, but that front kind of cleans everything out here as we head into uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, which feature sun and highs 75 to 80. So a change for the cooler, or to quote the Little River Band, a cool change on the way into next week. Have a good weekend, Ross. Thanks, Craig. And you know, going back to that blue moon, I have to say I was a little disappointed. I thought it was actually going to be blue. No, that's not how it works. No, go definitely. Back, go back, take science. <laughs> Thank you, Craig, for the latest <laughs> news, weather, and sports. Be sure to watch WENY News at noon, 5, 30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Ross DiMatteo. Have a great weekend, everybody.